In the last tutorial, you created the structure, and this is the structure that we've got, and we deleted the data that was provided for us because we're going to use formulae and functions. As we go through this, you'll notice that the first row, some of the formulae and functions will be different to what we put in for the second row. That's absolutely fine. Our starting balance then, for the first transaction, will be the lease amount. That's nice and straightforward, so we can put that in. From then on, it's going to be whatever the ending balance was from the previous transaction. Okay, so at the moment it's just coming up as zero, that's fine. The interest is going to be the starting balance of this transaction multiplied by the annual percentage rate, but we only want it to be for bi-monthly, so we need to divide that by six. Now that's the actual calculation, but we're also told it needs to be rounded down to two decimal places. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to surround this by a round down function, put brackets around there and comma two, to indicate two decimal places. I've done something wrong there. I missed out a D from round down. Okay, so you've seen a little bit of troubleshooting going on. Right, cumulative interest means how much interest has been paid so far. So in the first transaction, that is the only amount of interest that's been paid. But from then on, it will be whatever interest has been paid for that particular transaction plus the cumulative interest okay, that has already been accrued. Now if we just copy this down, we'll start to see some of this starting to take shape. Now we're gonna miss out total payment for the moment. Our ending balance is going to be whatever we started with plus the interest. Okay, so that's how much is owed, less however much has been paid. And that is going to be the same all the way through. Okay, now something has gone wrong. Okay, so we need to have a look and see. And it's going to be around this interest. And you can see that what's happened is when I've copied this down, okay, if we look, it started off using the APR of B4, just there, and then it's gone into using the lease amount. So hopefully you're thinking at this stage that what we need to do is put a dollar in front of the number four, so that when we copy it down, that number four stays the same, but this B12 changes to B13. So we'll just copy our ending balance down as well, and we've now got our row two. So what I'm going to do is copy the whole of row two down. There we go. And we'll change all of this into currency. We'll do the same up here as well. And we'll just make sure everything's consistent. So all we've got to do now is work out the actual payments that are being made, because at the moment it's just accruing interest and the loan is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger because not even the interest is being paid off. 